Hello YouTube! I apologize uh, for delay, but today we are finally watching uh, the second game of CW Grand Prix Tournament, which was played, uh, as I was telling previous time, between Murzik and uh, Killerfish. So let's start with army compositions. And uh, Murzik uh, brought uh, 1 Royal Marines, 2 150 range Blackbeards. Uh, 4 Yariki with 6 chevrons, 2 Shugnut Guard uh, Cavalry, 1 is with 3 chevrons, 1 is Vanilla, and uh, 1 Imperial uh, Guard Cavalry. His general is Bushido 1. Killerfish brought uh, Melee Rush Army, well, obviously Bushido General on his side, uh, 4 uh, levy, four spear levy, yes, three shogitais, and uh, a strong cavalry contingent as well. Four highly vetted uh, Yariki with six chevrons, two shogunate uh, guard cavalry, wow, each with five chevrons, that is, uh, that is really cool. And uh, one sabre cavalry, which I cannot see. But it is uh, somewhere here. Okay, and as you can see, I'm using a default camera because I got bored of the back camera. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. Killerfish first on the melee dodger, like in the previous game on rice fields, and this will give him some cavalry advantage if he manages. Uh, to capture this dodger. So. Some kiting going on uh, with Imperial Guard Cavalry by the Murzik. And here Murzik uh, trying to form a wave with his units. And now he is uh, forced uh, to charge with his cavalry into Spear Levis to stop Miller Rush. And this is actually gives uh, cavalry advantage to a killerfish because Murzik's uh, cavalry have to stop uh, uh, infantry units. Oh, what do I? That's a mistake. Melee units, I mean. Really intense fights going on, but uh, what is really good for Murzik, his line is actually shooting. Uh, and it stopped. Your general is under attack. So I don't know what is it. Uh, I'm sorry. This map is as uh, rice fields is very tricky. It uh, has a seemingly plain terrain, but. Uh, at some angles, uh, your units will not shoot at all. You have to account for that when you play on uh, on this map. Your men are routing, sir. <laughs> map is uh, Kawaba River, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to tell that. So, if we look at the stats, Shogitais did uh, surprisingly bad this time because they were stopped by cavalry and uh, it seems like uh, the whole job uh, was done by killerfish cavalry so what happened uh, murzik uh, was forced to use his cavalry on uh, spear levis to stop the miller rush which gave uh, killerfish uh, opportunity to use his cavalry to hit uh, back of Murzik's cavalry and uh, Murzik's line. So this is essentially cav win. <sighs> Good game for both players and uh, let's see final statistics. I like how their uh, games in this final are short ones and really really 
I'm sorry for this word. Very, very intense ones. And this is actually was a nice trick on the killer fish spot. Uh, if you know for sure what composition your enemy bring, and uh, he knew that Murzik will play his uh, 3 150 range uh, plus cavalry core, if you know that, you can use uh, tricks like that to force your enemy to make uh, some moves uh, which uh, he does not want to. And right now I was telling Killerfish forced, uh, forced uh, Murzik to charge his uh, Spear Levis. Because if Murzik didn't, uh, his line was dead. And <laughs> uh, this bug actually, this is my avatar, not Killerfish. And Murzik is not a computer. Well, whatever. Uh, difference in uh, man is quite significant because of spear levy, as you can tell, and it's uh, 400 man difference, and difference in losses, in losses, uh, 250 it seems, yes, 250. Okay, unit statistics. So yes, uh, I was telling, Shogitais did. Uh, surprisingly bad because uh, they were, were pinned down by uh, Murzik's cavalry but uh, at the same time Killerfish's cavalry was uh, free to kill as much as uh, they want and uh, Murzik's uh, infantry did surprisingly well despite being charged by cavalry but that obviously wasn't enough. Uh, you have seen the difference in uh, 400 uh, dif man difference. Uh, you have to make up for, the, for it somehow. So, great game in my opinion. And uh, we are going to watch uh, third one. And uh, thanks for watching.